think there's a new name set to run for governor, but it's he's stopping just short of saying it out loud. The now Detroit's Matthew Smith spoke with Michigan's lieutenant governor, and he joins us now with more on what he had to say. Matthew? Yeah, that lieutenant governor, uh, all eyes on him today, not because of something other people are talking about, but he himself brought that attention upon himself by going to Twitter and releasing a new ad campaign, but not exactly saying what the ad campaign is about. Most people openly speculating that he's going to make a run for the governorship. Of course, it's everyone's either wrong or it's just possibly the worst kept secret in Michigan politics. Lieutenant Governor Brian Kelly. He's got the support. The ad campaign rolled out just this morning. I sure learned a lot and used that experience to help everyone in Michigan live a better life. In the stump speech. So let's take the hardest challenges and imagine a Michigan without limits. He's got it down. But ask him if he's running for governor and mums the word. Fair to call it the worst kept political secret in Michigan right now. Oh, I'll just have to say stay tuned. Ah, uh, yes, stay tuned. Despite Callie teasing it online and despite telling me that he already is getting a lot of encouragement for said announcement, he's not willing to say officially that his run is happening. As for why, Callie says this is a good time to let people get to know him. Where my heart is, what drives me as a leader, and then also to remind people about how far we've come in the last six months, six years. Now here's something else that was interesting today. A lot of Republicans in the room there in Macomb County. A lot of people openly speculating who could be the next person to run. Candace Miller once upon a time was the hot name that could potentially be running for governor down the road. Of course, since then, she's changed gears and became the Macomb County Public Works Director. Uh, she was actually there today introducing Callie. She was asked, or he was asked, I should say, uh, whether that we should read into that or if that meant that she would be supporting him. He said right now he's going to leave that up to her and let her make comments on that at a later date. All right, Matt, I got to answer your question. You said it sounded like a stump speech today. So what did he hit on most in that <laughs> so-called stump speech? Uh, Carolyn, he definitely hit on education very hard. He was talking about how we can't have this one-size-fits-all plan. He also talked about getting a balanced budget and a lot of the things that he and Snyder have accomplished over the past six years. Certainly, like you said, it definitely sounded like a stump speech, although he's not officially saying that he's running right now. Okay, we'll have to see if that comes shortly. Thank you so much, Matt, for the live report. Joanne, I'm going to send it back to you. Yeah, meantime.